Hello YouTube and welcome to another load balancer tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to implement basic authentication using HA proxy. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on the, my previous videos I'll show you how to implement actually HA proxy or HA load balancer. Okay. So here I am on my uh, load balancer box, which is Arch Linux. Okay, so let's see if it still works. So here, so with let's, this script, it allows me to actually see if my load balancer is working. Here we go. So as I told you, I have three backend server and you see that our load balancer is working here properly because we have implemented actually round robin algorithm so here it's load balance the traffic between our three backend server okay and you can see here that there is no authentication we can access actually the backend server without any problem okay so if i open my browser for example and if i type here the load balancer ip address as you can see I can reach my web server one without any authentication so if I refresh I get server two refresh server one refresh server three okay and here we go it's load balancing the traffic between our three web server but let's say that you want actually to implement authentication so you actually need a credentials in order to access this backend servers so how can i implement that so actually it's pretty simple to implement basic authentication so all you have to do is actually to go to your config file so let's open it so you can open it with any editor and if you remember the path to HA proxy config file is located in etc directory HA proxy HA proxy .cfg. that is the name of the file so I can open it using vim or just nano if you want here we go so this is the basic actually config file that we have implemented so far so in order to implement basic authentication you have to add another section so i will add it just uh, after default okay so this section name is user list because we want to implement a user list in order to get authentication okay so you can name it whatever you want so i will just name it for example my list okay and inside this section i will provide credentials so with the keyword user and here you can provide uh, a name that actually will be allowed to access your backend server so let's name it for example user01 okay and you have also to provide an insecure password so here we write insecure password because the password will be written in clear text so let's actually uh, set up the password as password but instead of the o i will just type zero okay and you have also to to take in your, into your mind that the password that you will be passing into your browser will be actually passed in clear text over http okay so if you want to secure it you have to implement tls certification but here we are working with the basic authentication so i will just show you how it works so with these two keywords user we provide username and with insecure password we implement the password so here uh, yes let's make it a little bit difficult password like that okay and also you have to add some directive 
into your front end section okay so in this front end section you have to add another directive which is http request okay so this is the directive authentication keyword unless and between curly bracket you have to add http authentication and inside parentheses here you put your user list that you have defined earlier so i call that my list so i will type here my list okay so with this two directive you can actually implement basic authentication so the first directive is actually a section here user list and you name it whatever you want and you provide username and the password which is in this case insecure password okay and inside the front and section you add this directive here http request ot unless http ot between parentheses your list that you have defined earlier so let's save that here we go and of course you have to restart your load balancer http proxy okay so with this command here you can restart it so here I have an error so let's open once again our config file maybe I have a typo so let's check user list my list everything is okay here insecure password okay so actually the mistake that I have uh, done it's here HTTP request there is here a minus and not an underscore okay so let's save that and see if we get an error so let's start our HTTP and we still have an error so let me open once again our file okay so maybe I need some spaces here after this curly bracket and before this one okay so I think now everything looks good so let's save that here we go let's start here we go so I don't have any error anymore okay so let's run once again the script to see if we need to provide some credentials so this is our script so you see here I get an error 401 unauthorized okay so it means that you need a valid user and the password to access this content okay so let's open our browser and see what we get so this is from our previous uh, test let's refresh that and here we go you see now that we must provide username and the password so let's provide something random not the one that we have implemented in our config file so i will type here one two three so i still don't get access to it so i need actually to provide the one that i have configured in the config file which is zero user zero one and with the password p arobask password zero t here we go so you can see now that i can have access okay here we go now I can refresh without any problem okay so I get access to the backend server because we have implemented actually a basic authentication using the config file so with the help of this config file here this line here we have provided this user 01 and with the password which is insecure in this case but we implemented basic authentication so that was just a brief introduction how to implement uh, basic authentication using HA proxy as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for 
view in. Bye-bye.